Chisara and Dohalin. Living together in the palace, huh? I myself am simply being provided a room. By who? Ooh, Chisara? <clears throat> what did you just say? Great! Hmm. <laughs> Law? Yes! <laughs> A place where children can learn as much as they want. That's going to be indispensable in this new world. That means there will be more kids like Ringwell. That's a good thing, right? It's a super good thing. Let's get them everything they need. What is there to do for fun in this palace when you want to kill some time? Hmm. I suppose you could read a book in the library. Or compose a poem, perhaps. That can really make the hours fly by. How about going to the courtyard? It'll be easier that way if someone comes calling. said to be a symbol of Rena and Dana becoming one. Is that why you like it? It's a flower that's neither Renan nor Danan. I guess it reminds me of myself. And yet, it grows everywhere.
How can you be so calm about everything, Elfin? What? You mean about being the Sovereign? When I was in Yes. No, not just then. In other places, too. I heard that the Blazing Sword is Rena's enemy. It's Destroyer. Danans think so, too. They look at you differently. Like you're something apart from them. How can you be okay with all that? It's not like I don't have feelings. Nazimir. Are you scared of me? It's true that together we did overthrow Renan rule. But we didn't do so out of malice, or because we were trying to hurt people. Please believe that. I do. From the very beginning, when we first met, both of you have tried to help me. The daughter of a lord? Half Danon? A test subject? Finding out more about who I am didn't change anything in your eyes. You still protected me without prejudice. It was the first time I experienced that, and it was nice. So because of that, I, um, I wanted to say, um, thank you. I should be the one thanking you. Huh? I didn't want anyone to get unfairly hurt. And when it seemed like they would, I vowed to use all my power to protect them. That's what I've been fighting for. So in the end, Hearing your view on things makes it all feel worthwhile. Thank you. Um. <sighs> sure. We can't always have our actions understood by others even when we believe we're doing the right thing. What you said... is very encouraging. People tend to judge others based on birth or background rather than what they've actually done. Everyone has their own assumptions. Though the world has changed, people's hearts and minds don't change so easily. Even so, I... What should I do? I... I want... I want to help you, Alfin. I want to be useful. 
What should I do? Oh. That's, um... Hey, you guys! The room's ready! Uh, right. Got it. Let's go. We can discuss this more later. Um... Okay. Well, let's head to your room. You can stay as long as you want, Nazamil. No one will bother you here. It's a pretty over-the-top name for a flower when you stop and think about it. I believe Dohalim is the one who came up with the name. The flower appeared after the merging of the worlds, so I'd hoped it could serve as a symbol of reconciliation. Until we find an official residence for you, this will be your home, Nazamil. Yes, this is where we say goodbye, then. It won't be the same without you. We'll be sure to stop by when we're in Vicent. Okay. Nazamil, we have something for you. <gasps> this is the charm from the ruins? That's right. The good luck charm you give to someone special. <laughs> we all helped fix it up a little. I know you said you don't have anyone special, but you're special to all of us. We thought this could be a reminder when you need it. But I... Really? Of course. Think of it as a sign of our friendship. A promise that we'll meet again. Basically, we're friends now. Friends. My very own friends. Just like me. It looks good on you. <laughs> Thank you. We'll see you soon, Nazamil. <sighs> okay. that things worked out for Nazamil. Yeah, I'm glad there's a place like Vicent where she can feel safe. Everything turned out all right. Indeed. I suppose our meeting was serendipity. Wasn't Lagiel that lady from the Gold Dust Cats? She's a member of the Service Corps now, just like me. If she's looking for me, that means... She's got a problem, huh? Right. She's often near the inn. Let's check there first. you're back we could use your help something wrong Lagil? yeah a zoogle it's been attacking faria ranch the ranch that's quite a serious problem it is as you are already aware the balance of the astral energy in each region has been equalizing ever since the merging of the twin worlds as a side effect, harvests in Menencia have been on the decline. That means any problems with food production can easily lead to crisis. 
In other words, you're saying it's vital to protect the fields and the ranch, right? Wait, what about the Service Corps? Isn't it their duty to take care of Zoogles? Oh, we've tried many times. But somehow, each time we get overpowered. That's why I'm coming to you for help, Kisara. Understood. Tell the Corps I'll take care of it. While I'm away, you all stay in the city and... You really can't break old habits, can you? Rely more on those around you. But this is... We need to make extra sure that the food resources are safe. That's all the motive we need. Come on, Kisara. Uh, thanks. Be careful. That Zoogle really does pop up out of nowhere. The merging of the twin worlds left Zoogles scattered all over. This has caused no end of trouble. I wonder why Renan's lost the ability to control them. In hindsight, our control was likely only made possible by Lenigus. Huh? What is it, Law? Uh, I just got a kinda strange feeling. Everything looks okay to me. Was it just my imagination? something moving what is it zoogles couldn't it be just a mouse or something i don't think so but i'm not sure what it is let's flush it out by force wait <laughs> nazamil you followed us did something happen in the city no i just didn't want to be left there are you saying you'd rather live on your own outdoors than in a city? It's not that. I just... You want to come with us, don't you? Yes. All right. <laughs> Are you sure about this? After all, it's not like we'll never see each other again. And it's so much safer in Vicent. That's true, but... We all know the pain of being alone, don't we? Well, yeah, but... She does have the ability to disappear at will. If something happens, she can use that to hide herself. Can you promise you'll do that, Nazamil? Yes, I promise. Then it's decided. Haven't been to the ranch in a while. Wonder if they're all doing okay. So, you like animals? Like isn't the right word. They're his best friends. They are not! Hey! Sure! Good! Yeah. Hmm. Okay.
Hmm. Yeah. That woman was downright obsessed with muscles. I wonder if it has anything to do with the test. Just what are they gonna put us through? Ugh, I'm getting a little scared now. Anyone that likes muscles is good in my book. Toned muscles are a sign of a hard worker. That woman must have been reassured when she saw Kisara. Seems an odd thing to place so much trust in. Pretty tasty. Yep, we can fix that new recipe with it. I eagerly await the final result. Whoa, look who it is. Ain't seen you around here in a spell. Especially you, boy. Why don't you come around more often? Because I'm busy, okay? But we're here for a reason. We heard a Zoogle has been attacking your livestock. Oh, so you're taking over for the service corps, then? Why didn't you say so? Hmm? I can't say I recognize you, young lady. You look pretty young for a service corps member. That's because she's not in the service corps. She's our new friend. Your animals were attacked? Yes, that's right. They may just be animals, but they're my animals, and I take good care of them. But that darn Zugo won't leave the poor things be. <sighs> and just what kind of Zugo is it? No clue. You don't know? I know it's a Zugo because of the tracks, but even though it got a handful of my animals, I ain't actually seen it yet. I even come a-running as soon as I hear a commotion, but still ain't laid eyes on the beastie. It don't make a lick of sense. Never would have guessed the old guy'd just throw himself into danger like that. It keeps coming back, so I figure it must live somewhere nearby here. Okay, we'll check around the roads. Do you like animals too, Nazamil? Yeah. Animals don't say mean things or throw rocks like people. 